Okay, uh, question. Uh, how do I export a file or a picture from Lightroom to a flash drive? Okay, well, of course, the export feature is down here below. Uh, but let's just look, first of all. I'll bring, bring up my file manager here and look back, and I've got a flash drive attached here, this Kingston drive, okay? So I want to uh, export a picture to that Kingston drive. Um, I can export as many pictures as I want, for example. I think I could uh, select hitting down the command command key. I can select a bunch of pictures like this, and, and, and I want all those pictures to go to the flash drive, okay? So now I hit export. Now you'll see here I got a bunch of user presets I've already set up. I'll assume I don't have those user presets, okay? I'm starting from scratch up here, and I'll say, okay, let's burn a full-size J. I'll just pick one of these here, Light, Lightroom preset, okay? I'm going to do that. It's going to say export the CD uh, wherever, uh, and I can say, uh, uh, you know, let's just say hard drive, uh, and then I'll say a specific. I'm going. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to be creating a new preset, and this preset's going to allow me to export anywhere I want a JPEG file, okay? So I'm going to say instead of specific folder here. I'm going to say choose a folder later. It's use, useful for presets, so that every time I run the preset, it'll choose. Uh, it'll allow me to choose the folder, right? So right now I've got to choose the folder later. I'm not going to. Uh, I don't want these to be added to the catalog because they're going to be somewhere else. I don't want things out there that are like, uh, on the catalog. They're on some flash drive somewhere, right? Uh, and then if there's an existing files with the same name, what to do? You know, overwrite without warning. Uh, ask what to do is typical. Uh, do, do I want to rename the files? Well, I could rename the files. I could rename the files to uh, to something different, but let's just say I leave the file the same. Of course, the JPEG uh, extension on it, since I picked up here, burn the size JPEG. But just because I picked this up here doesn't mean I can't modify everything here. So I'm modifying whatever I want to here, file settings. This says JPEG 100%. Uh, so I'm going to keep it JPEG. Uh, let's just say I'm going to, for the uh, purposes of everything else, 85% is good. Uh, resize the size. Do I want to resize this thing? Um, let's just say uh, I do. Uh, right now, the, I don't want a full resolution thing. I want something smaller. So, uh, of course, if you're going to print it now, you're going to want to keep this thing at 240. Uh, uh, so let's uh, let's just say I want to have. Well, I'll leave that. But I could change it if I wanted pixels per inch. I could also change the uh, width and height. This width and height is going to take the the. Uh, it's not going to make a square picture out of this. It's going to take the longer of. The long edge is going to be a thousand, whether it be width, width or height. Okay, so what this is going to do. Uh, sharpen four. If I'm going to uh, send this, these, use these to upload, say to Facebook, I'll probably want to sharpen for screen, or if not for screen, matte paper, glossy paper, depending on if I'm going to print it on something. It doesn't. It's not a bad idea to go use one of these things. Okay, I'll just leave it for screen now. Standard is good. I include all metadata. Well, you know, sometimes if I'm going to share this, you want to remove personal information. But right now, I'm setting up a preset. I, uh, do I really want to mark, watermark these things? I could. Uh, uh, I could wa I have a watermark set up. I could have a watermark printed on this thing. I don't like that particularly. And after exporting, do nothing. So now I've got this thing sort of uh, set up. I'm going to hit the add down here. And what it's going to do is I'm going to call this untitled. Oh, I'm going to call this JPEG to anywhere. Okay. JPEG to anywhere, it's going to be under user's presets, and you'll see now I've got something called JPEG to anywhere, all right? Uh, I could now go export, and it would export the files that I've already selected, but let's just go off here and, and get rid of that and say, okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really saw the files I want to export here. I'm going to export these files here. Okay, now I can go to ex export uh, JPEG to anywhere. Now, you remember I had this set up here, so if I click on JPEG to anywhere, it's going to come up, and now it's going to ask me, where do I want to set it up? Okay, it's not too darn hard. Remember, I had a, uh, a flash drive. There's the flash drive. So I'm saying I want to send it to the flash drive, hit open, and voila, you see up here in the top, they already went off. Uh, and family scan, these things are called family scan, some darn thing here. If I go to uh, my finder, I should find uh, uh, somewhere in there, let's see, uh, Kingston Drive. It should be in here, somewhere in here. Uh, there's a family, those are the ones I just, uh, just today at 747. That's the time right now. If you look up here, 748. Okay, so it's up above the time on the scene. So those are the ones I just sent over there. So there they are on the hard drive, easy as that. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, take care.